What up, people? Episode 33, or we know what those. Trace Trace. Oh, Trace Trace? Over Spanish, over Spanish there. It's like Deuce Staley. It'd be Trace Trace Staley. No, that's like Deuce Staley. He's Spanish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, he is our assistant really coach. Man. He is. He's like he, was really never, he was never. He's he's he was never a really man. Sense. Yeah. He's all neck and stuff. Bro, like, <laughs> he's the biggest man. Like, come on, man. But anyway, episode 33 uh, on a Monday night because mm. it's football season now. It's kind of weird because Sun- Sunday and Sunday night, night and it's kind of hard to do on a Sunday because like you don't want to leave the chair. And then Sunday night was extra rough for him because you know if if the Cowboys are playing prime time, you yeah, can't yeah. not watch them. And they squeak. Yeah, it's like you're not you're not not gonna watch the team. Right. Night. No, no, I hear that 100. Yeah. percent We would be canceled if the Eagles were playing Sunday night too. Right. Like, uh, sorry, right. man, you gotta go. But um, we can yeah, do this so tomorrow. The Cowboys did win 2013 over there. Winless Giants. Mm-hmm. And, uh, what a great ball. test. <laughs> I was looking for a good running back matchup, and uh, I don't think it really happened. Uh, I s- Did Zeke look good? I really didn't watch. Zeke looked good, but Tavon Austin came out of nowhere. I heard he had a 64 yard touchdown. They're using him the right way. You mean the way the Rams had not in the last 10 years? What the Rams didn't do correctly, the mm-hmm. Cowboys are finally doing it. Yeah, he had that one long touchdown catch. Right. I mean, because no one could catch up with him. No. Um, run off the screen, all that shit. So you got to use him a certain way. You do. He's not your typical receiver. He's not uh, big enough. No, he's very tiny. Yeah. He has a. He's like the Deshaun. It's like a Deshaun Jackson. Like, yes. You're not gonna. That guy's not gonna like Deshaun on a daily basis is not gonna be that nine catch, hundred yard guy. He's gonna be two catches, hundred yards. Or eleven seconds in, seventy yards. Yeah. Yards. What the fuck? He's dumb in that ass. I cursed <laughs> so hard. <laughs> what is it? If you watched it, Malcolm Jenkins just just vacated. Yeah, because he was looking for the because Jalen Mills. Yeah. He's an asshole when it comes to the double move. So Malcolm came up because he thought he was about to pull the double move. Yeah. And he's like, oh, let me come back up on him. And then instead, Deshaun's like, bye. Yeah. And I was like, and this dude's extra motivated when he plays us anyway. Oh, yeah. Because apparently I didn't know that we even passed up on him. I thought he just didn't want to come here last year. Apparently, we passed up on him last year also when he was a free agent before I he went to Tampa. So now because we picked Alshon over him. So he's double pissed. Well. He won us the Super Bowl, so I'm well, okay with I mean, it. Yeah. Deshaun wasn't making those catches in the Super Bowl. That wasn't him. And when you're at the 10-yard line, I'm not looking for Deshaun. He's, nah, he's, he's, just not he's useless. Alshon, he was big. You throw it up. He's big and catch. Hurts. Yeah. He's big and uh, just like just like Ginger Jesus, he's going to be back on the scene. Oh, you got the Lord and Savior's back. Yeah, Lord and Savior's back. But he's not on the yeah. He's going to tell himself. When Jesus is on your side? They'll open up. It's not part of the green city. Yo, right away. Right, we'll Defenders are just going to be tripping from here on out. Don't worry, guys. Bionic Jesus is who, back. Who the hell are your receivers? Well, Some Aiken dude? Kamar Aiken from, Kamar the, Aiken from the Ravens. And, um, um, a tight end who is on our... Yeah. His ankles died. Yeah. His ankles died. A tight end that I didn't know we had is our third receiver at this point. Something Perryman. Not, not Brashard Perryman. Like, a, his name is Perryman, but he's a tight end. Okay. Like, our fifth tight end. And that man made, like, three catches. And I don't know where he came from. So, it's Nelson Aguilar and nobody. Pretty much just and Ertz. And Ertz. Ertz is a ton of obviously. Right. At this point, you have to. No. You're, you're like, God, take the second role. Right. You know they did not even bring him in the game. When you were down, he like. He did not play at all, did he? No, for having no receivers. You thought, hey, man, let's bring in the guy who looks like, care, looks like a Gronk-sized individual. Like, he's a yeah. bigger-sized individual. Let's let's throw a big target out there for somebody to throw it at. And say so he was like, you know what? Let's bring in this guy that I'd never seen before before today. So, yes, the birds took the L, and uh, you know, we took an L on week two last week last year, and it ended pretty well. So I'm not I'm not I'm not sweating it yet. And if Carson comes back and it still looks rough like three weeks from now, mm-hmm. I'm gonna sweat it. But like they have like those analytics and shit like that about percentages. And apparently, you guys basically knocked the Giants out of the playoffs. Yay! yay because they said yay. if you would have, if the Cowboys would have went 0 and 2 last night, yeah, you still would have had a 42 percent chance of making it to the playoffs. But the Giants, I guess, by talent level and schedule, yeah. um, they're down to an 11 percent chance of making it to the playoffs at two at 0 and 2. So you basically, it's now a three team race. Between the skins, the skins win this. Skins lost. Lost. So everybody's one to one. It's just, it's just all one and ones. No, that's the hell no they, they lost won't. somebody. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So it might just come down to. So it's all one and ones. Division, so. Yeah, but uh, they said since like for like last seven or ten years, something like that, no one's ever won the division twice in a row in the NFC East. So the Cowboys might win. Oh no, I think oh. it was like two years ago, didn't you? Or was it? 
Weird. Right. Did the Redskins have accident? No, no one had. No, the Redskins. I think they should have been the last couple years. The Redskins have not won in the division. I don't know. No, they won it like a couple years ago. It was one of like hot flashes. Was that Mark Rippon? <laughs> John Riggins? Oh, yeah. Everybody knows that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean it's been a while. But I, no, I think they won one by accident like a few years ago. An RG3? It might have been an RG3 or year. Kirk Cousins. No, come on now. Kirk won't be with Kirk. Won't be with Kirk. Guaranteed money, not guaranteed wins. He fucking, what, he's a one in a tie? Come on, man. I mean, no offense. It's not his fault. His kicker sucks. Yeah, that's uh, it was a rough day for kickers. Yo, and rough they rough. and they both got cut. Did they really? Yeah, your boy went. Uh, your boy went to the Vikings. Dan Bailey. He probably picked up Bailey. I don't know why anybody didn't have him in the first place. I wouldn't have anybody named Zane Gonzalez if Dan Bailey's out there. I don't. I don't understand what the like. The Browns are trying to hype up all their other positions. Yeah. What in your mind wasn't like, yo, this guy blows. Let's go pick up Dan Bailey, one of the most accurate kickers of all time. He's, why, did, why did you guys cut him? He got hurt. He and injury. that was it? And then I guess like he just wasn't the same, and he's, he's expensive. Well, he's accurate. Yeah. So, you saw um, this week why expensive might be okay. Yeah, so that's why you kind of save a little money. Well, Browns literally missed one on each side. Of <laughs> he kicked it left, and then he kicked it far right. But he couldn't kick it between them goddamn poles. I mean, I honestly think that the Browns are allergic to winning. The like, they had all the chances in the world to win this one. Like, they're good enough to get there. They just that, that last possession when they have the ball in their hands, it's a struggle. Something always goes weirdly wrong. Yeah, all the bars in Cleveland are waiting. Just yeah, to... where's my free beer, right? Yeah, that's fine. Can you imagine that? I'm telling you, when are they playing the Jets? That's it. Uh, I think it's on third. No, wait, because, yes, they play Thursday night. Is mm. Jets. Trying to, go, trying to go to Cleveland on, on Thursday? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we drink for free. I don't know. Have you seen the Jets, too? So is Geno Smith. And so is Mark Sanchez. So is Sanchez. It's too early to tell. You have to give me at least two to three seasons of consistency to be like, you're a beast. Yeah. He's Patrick Mahomes. Everybody's like, yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, he's put up numbers. And he's on pace for 80 touchdowns. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's what's happening. 80 touchdowns? I mean, I get it. You have... Ten through your first two. Yeah. All right, okay. Well, it's not, it, you're it's, not. It's, the more film they get on you, the easier it becomes to stop you. Exactly. First, the first game or two, yeah, you sh- you probably should blow up everybody if you're that talented because no one knows what to expect. Are you a running quarterback? What are your tendencies? They just have to look off stuff from college, but that's not the same. No. The more NFL tape you get on this guy, the less effective he becomes. Plus, he's coached by Andy Reid, so he'll never win in Super Bowl. Uh, <laughs> Shots. <laughs> Ain't no Dougie P. You know what I'm saying? Dougie P. Philly special. Philly, I'm Philly. Philly. Patrick Holmes didn't quit. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Well, the shocker of the. Is the shocker the or is he the goat of the week? It might be the, the goat of all time. When right. A... Have you ever, like, has anybody out there ever just like, and I know you have because I do. Yeah, we all um, have, like, just quit. And... You just walk into work and you just go, man, I should turn around and just never come back. Mm-hmm. You know? Right, it's like it's crossed your mind, but you've never pulled the trigger on it. Because you can't afford to. Exactly. Well, apparently, when you're a millionaire, that is the case. Vontae Davis of the very sad Buffalo Bills. Very, very he sad. came in a halftime and he just hopped in the shower, got all cleaned <laughs> up, got his street clothes on, and everybody said, "Hey, man, you hurt? What's going on?" He goes, "Nope, I can't do it anymore." I retire and walked out the di- and walked out the back door, never to be seen again. Like nobody knows why he did it. Like he didn't tell any of his teammates. Half of them didn't know. They was wondering where he was at halftime. Yeah. They said uh, Quan Alexander, I think it was, is uh, who's like their middle linebacker. They said, "How did you find out?" He goes, "Well, in the second half, I was looking for him." And they said, "Oh, he retired." And I said, "What?" <laughs> he goes, "That was straight up disrespectful. He just quit on us. He retired on us. Like not even quit. Like he didn't take it throw like a temper tantrum." Just, he just quit. Like, just say, yeah, like, I gotta go. This is stupid. But he's gonna be in some hot shit for a little bit because. But he, he made sure that he has one weekend. You gotta get you one weekend, this way you can get his guaranteed five mil. Collect that extra five mil, and then he can roll. Now, I don't think the Bills have to pay. It's something about, like, some kind of weird kind of clause where they don't have to pay the remainder of the salary if it's. No, if you retire, no, the only thing they're retired, they're, they're, they have to give him is whatever the guaranteed right, cash okay. is, but all the other parts of the contract, they can, like, they can rule out, yeah. 
So they get they still get some money. I don't know what he's making, but so can't I be guess you just said like well reading the original statement it was like he just couldn't do it anymore. Like physically he just couldn't be out right, there. Right. Like, oh, I'm done. Uh, I get it. It's a it's a grueling thing, but usually you would would you think that would be something that happens on week two? Like usually well, the football well, season's if grind you're is like team, he would he would still be like, there. Oh, I'm gonna ride this out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's which he still will when he gets picked up in like four to five weeks. When he gets he'll get home and he has his money to spend, but when like when you live that lifestyle and you have all that money, like that is expensive. It's great when money is continuously you know, like, you know. But Vontae Davis was never the good enough player. It's not like he's like a signature shoe. He doesn't do promo no, yeah. promos for anything. Like and you live in Buffalo. Well, right. Not you're not Buffalo. really you know, you're not you're not doing enough yeah. to be like, okay, I'm good. So, I don't know, guys. Maybe does that give anybody the motivation to just pull a, what we now can call a pull Avante Davis and, um, like, you now use him as an action? In reality, uh, no. Mm-hmm. not happen. Nope. The way my bank account is set up? <laughs> <laughs> not, I might actually go in and answer another job. Like money going in. Not yeah, no. Mm-mm. And then dwindling quickly. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely one of the strangest things I've heard in the NFL. No, oh, without doubt. Um, but yeah, anyways, Avante Davis is officially retired. Mm-hmm. And another breaking news: Josh Gordon was earlier well, I guess today released by the Browns. He was supposed to be released, yeah. And then, and then the Patriots, Patriots trade it for him. Yeah. I don't because I guess it would be. I don't understand why everybody wouldn't just rather wait it for him to get released. Wouldn't you just Maybe be like, just like shush? It was, it was a like, fifth round pick. Yeah. But there's like a uh, they put like a stipulation on it, which is smart. Says if he can't play ten games this year, you owe us a pick back. <laughs> like, cause he had, technically he has a hamstring injury. He wasn't gonna play. He wouldn't play last week because of that. Right. So if this thing is a lingering hamstring, if you don't still you know, even don't see him get on the field in two weeks, plus the Patriots are desperate. They looked worse than we did. Yeah, they had the, the Jags beat the shit out of them. Like yeah. it, it was. A, Bortles suddenly figured out how to play quarterback. Like. For real, I thought like he had like one of them. I thought he had a Nick Foles run last year. You know, like he caught fire, but then when you brought him back this year, he's kind of be like, he's back to being Bortles. No, my man's a he had some confidence, some swagger. He was running for first downs, and he wasn't even sliding. I mean, it was fast. He was putting his fucking shoulder into it. Yeah, like he was letting himself get hit and everything coming out with first downs. I was like, yeah, he is fast. Yeah, against the Giants, he had like a sixty-seven yard run. He can, he's got wheels. Yeah, guy. yeah. Uh, I think it was payback from last year. That was yeah. the Patriots. Yeah. Because they almost started. Like, I got this. They almost did it again because they almost started coming yeah. back, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Like so, they had like a fumble and an interception, or something like that, and like Patriots scored on two straight drives, and I was like, man, if this happens again, I'm gonna be so pissed. And then the Jag put their foot down, lit them up the rest of the way. So Jags are gonna be crazy this year. But uh, yeah, just finishing up with Josh Gordon, I think there's a reason why the Browns let him go. Like. He's one more suspension away from being banned. For, for life. life, yeah. So they must have knew he was going to screw up. And they had a new one or whatever. This is your problem now. Because he didn't pull the hamstring in practice. Mm-hmm. He pulled it doing some kind of promo shit. Uh, okay. It was like something to get his money. I don't think it was like a Browns promo. Because if it was a Browns promo, they would be like, our bad. We made you do it. It was something that he did for someone. And I guess the promo had to do something with him doing some physical activity. Not just something where he's like, hi, I'm Josh Gordon, and uh, you're watching Colin K Sports today. You know, like one of them stupid things. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a active promo, and my man pulls a hammy doing a promo for his own cash. Like yeah. <laughs> I smoke weed, and I still run this fast. <laughs> Watch me, you do these crops. Ow! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you could say I go mile high. Ooh. Hey, Denver. Oh, man, if he would, he would have been fucked up then. If they if he got traded to the Broncos, he's like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> so like two places he can't go there or the LA Rams because there's too many dispensaries and there's two general locations. Yeah. My man would have been he been he wouldn't care about being banned. He would have Ricky Williams himself and just be like, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> he's on that Ricky Williams track. Yeah, yeah come on, Ricky. Uh, come on, Rick. Damn, you've been a good Philly. I don't know, if he's on New England, they don't, they don't mess around. Because they said, like, that same idea is what was going on with Moss when he came in. And they killed it. A lot of weed, that. Yeah, but he's not rating Moss. And I, I honestly think he's just, he's too stupid. I think he just has, like, that I'm going to get in trouble gene because he thinks there's something else. Plus, the, 
like I said uh, at the end of last season, when we when we broke it down, mm-hmm. the Empire's no more. It's gone. It's gone. It's at the end. They all look rough out there. Because that, that whole offseason, New England's had all this fighting shit going on where, like, they're saying that Kraft loves Brady, Brady doesn't like Belichick, Belichick hates both of them. Like, that, this whole thing going around, they don't even like each other. Well, he hates, Belichick hates Brady's trainer. Right. Because he wants to do his fight. Yeah. But, so, now there's friction everywhere on this team. And when they win Super Bowls, that's a cure. You know, it's a temporary cure. We won, hooray us. When you lose a Super Bowl, and it's just getting worse and worse where you guys are like, you know, the, the tensions are getting worse between the three people. The Garoppolo trade really fucked a lot of them up because they all assumed Tom's going to, you know, give the reins away to this dude. Meanwhile, Tom wants to play for like eight more years. Like, you got you're going to have to give it up at some point, my guy. Like, it's, it's just a matter of time. So you think the dynasty this is their This is their last ditch effort, I think. Like, this is like the last dynasty ever for the for, you know, for a while. It was like, yeah, yeah how many? Yeah, that was. Then you had, you know, you had Sam. But that was all in the 90s. Now, like. If this was the only like, thing. Because everybody thought it was going to be, like, Seattle. You know, because they had that mean defense. So you thought, like, oh, the defense can run you for years. It didn't. It didn't. It got them one Super Bowl. You know, it got them yeah, one Super Bowl. He wants to be a cowboy. Yeah, he was so pissed off that they didn't trade him to the so, Cowboys. Yeah, I think the Patriots are the last dynasty. Right. Um, so this whole Eagles dynasty like stop. It's it's not. No, really it's people not. gotta it's just, understand. I mean, <laughs> windows close fast in the NFL anymore, so it's very hard to do. Um, and like, see the way the Patriots are making the move though. That's the move you're supposed to make if you're a dynasty though. Right. The Eagles couldn't have dropped a fifth round pick when your wide receivers are garbage. You should have done that. You should if they said, hey, Patriots are offering me a fifth. All for a fourth. That's it. Bang. You're not fine. You get a fourth from us. And we don't care what the restriction is. Like, you do what you have to do because there's no targets out there right now. If you're defending Super Bowl champs, you need to have some kind of offense. Or else Carson's going to be fucking done. But that's crazy, man. Josh Gordon and the Patriots. We'll see how that acts. Should be a good should be a good watch when he finally starts playing. Uh, uh, we'll see if he can, uh, uh, not smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Smoke weed every day. Sad. So talented. Yeah, but just, you know. And weed's not that addictive. That's just kind of being dumb. It's kind of like a mental thing with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, if he's in, doing this, though, it's the NFL sometimes. Because the NBA, what's his name, is trying to get that shit legalized for players. Adam Silver? Really? He, he's all about it. He's like, yo, well, if it helps them feel better. Because right. a lot of them, they say that's what you use it for. It's literally a medical use. Like, it helps their muscles relax better, and then like, they they heal a little quicker from your because you're, you're I mean after during a season you're in so much pain, you know it's what are you gonna do? It's either I can smoke a little weed, take the pain out, without some kind of crazy reaction, or they start going the Brett Favre route and you're fucking popping pills and shit all season, and then before that you before you know it, you're literally a fucking pill head. So. Get, get with the NBA, yes. NFL. Jesus Christ. Well, speaking of the NBA, uh, oh. one of our favorite games dropped this mm. week. Uh, two Ks out. So, um, are you still in a relationship? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> got, like sneaking time now. Two, damn. two K week is a very scary it's week awesome. if you're in a if you're you have a significant other because, or if you don't for that matter because you will not want to go on a date. You will not want to yeah. go out with friends. <laughs> It's it's two K week is a very big week, you know. You got to see where you're at, what your gaming experience is like. You got to kind of figure your shit out. So, do you like it better than last year's? Yeah, every year it's it's a room. Like the graphics are better, mm-hmm. like the lighting's better. Like I said, there's more animation. So like, yeah, I love it. I mean, it's it, it was it was the Madden of years past. Yeah, where like and you were, it just got every year. You were just more excited to yeah, play it and more so into it. It basically is a new Madden. Yeah, I mean, like, what's not like about it? You know? Right. It's, it's literally. It's that time of year, man. Like, basketball starting next right. week. Right. Oh. So it's like, yeah, I'm ready. P.S. Hockey's so under the radar. I'm unaware this was a second preseason game for the Flyers. Yeah. They played last night, too. No one said anything about a training camp? Yeah. <laughs> Where's that at? I didn't even know they hit the ice. They didn't say, like, oh, good old JVR is hitting the rink. Yeah, he's back. That's right. Flyers only bring back old players. They do not ever actually sign anybody who was not on their team before. So, good job, Flyers. Keep doing that thing. Um, speaking of, off note, the Eagles, Jeremy Macklin is out there, and they might look at him and his broke ass. 
Yeah, they said Macklin, they said Matthews. Yeah. Uh, they keep playing with that. Like, that's not what I'm here. Yes, he does. He wants to be a Cowboys. No, he, wa- no, he wants to go anywhere in the NFC East that he can beat on you. Because he, his goofy ass the other day, after you guys lost last week, mm-hmm. was going bananas on Twitter, just like making fun of the Cowboys. And then he forgot to get off his main account to retweet his tweet with another comment. So saying Des Bryant, just retweet it. He retweeted his own thing and said, that's the truth, Des. And then he didn't really just still said him. <laughs> he's making up his own comments on his comments. Right. Yeah, he's he's lost his shit. So maybe he might not be a great trainer. Well, he was in the booth with Jerry at a concert. Mm-hmm. So it's like he loves Jerry, yeah. but that doesn't like Sean Lee. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't feel like you guys own the team. But uh, I don't know. He may not. He might not get signed this year. I don't know that. He just, There's a reason why they don't want him. Yeah, because he hasn't done anything. Exactly. Josh Gordon has potential. Yeah. Dez showed what he had. We'll give you His one cards are out. out of like 16. No one wants that. And then he's just hurt for us. You don't want him cursing out everybody on the sidelines. Yeah. You don't want him being pissed off because he didn't catch it, but the whole time he was covered right. because he can't get open anymore. No, I'm okay. He will leave 88 on the goddamn bench. Mm-mm. But yeah, man, 2K week, greatest week of all time. Now, you're not a my career guy. No, it's, so much, it's, it's, so the it's the greatest part of it. It's the greatest part of it. It's amazing. I'm not hating on amazing thing just... ever. You meet your friends on there. Yeah. And then you have your own stuff. This year, they added hoodies. Hoodies up. So I can, in the streets, I rock my hoodie wearing on the upside. Okay. Hmm. You have, um, we have dodgeball this year. Okay. You got to yeah, get to form some teams, play some dodgeball. Uh, you have the. Bouncy basketball. Remember that joint with the. Remember that b- basketball that used to be a thing. Um, and you, it would be on TV. Had trampolines as the court, and you'd be able to jump on it. Under Armour, the Under Armour cages. That's what it's called. So you go in there, and it's just trampoline basketball. Gotcha. And then they have two on twos, three on threes, pro ams. Man, it's where the magic's at. I'm telling you. See, you can't do it because if you do it, you're fucked. Because it's the greatest thing on earth. Because there's always someone online who wants the ball and be like, yo, man, meet me on the courts. And you're like, fuck, I will. And you start getting text messages. That's when you know it's bad. You're like, someone just texts me, yo, you on? We balling. And you're like, be there in a minute. And you get all, you get, you stop doing what you're doing and you get on there. Last year, me, me and our boy Dot, me and our boy Dot were, we were balling, balling so hard, right? And there was an actual, Game stalker. It was a guy we were playing with the night before, and he was just very talkative. Mm-hmm. And he was a Miami Heat fan, and he was he was just yakking a lot of yak. We couldn't we couldn't get rid of him. Okay, <laughs> so the night after we just ignored all of his requests to to ball with him. We're like, ah, oh, just, just ignore the dude. We'll be cool. Now, like the courts are all over the place. You can't like pick your court. Okay, right. so you have to do a lot of stuff to find the the like region. I guess that we are both in balling. So. We're playing the game, and this dude had a very unique look. He looked like um, anybody who used to wear Ed Hardy. You know, it was a very sparkly look he had going on. Yes. And this dude, no lie, we're playing, and you see, like, because you can see what's going on each playground, like, as you're playing. Mm -hmm. This dude is standing on the steps, and his his character is just looking dead at us, like, just just blinking at us. And I'm like, yo, that... You see him, he goes, oh, what the fuck? It's an actual stalker. So, like, he just kept creeping and creeping. And by the end of the game, he was standing on the sidelines, and, like, they have, like, those emoji things and stuff. And it was him, like, looking at us, and you hear, you heard him. And he got into, our, like, our, our, like, listening party. He was like, yo, bro, where you at? Why aren't you letting me play? Like, this dude was hunting us down. Yeah. I was like, we had to, like, you know, you could make yourself, like, invisible on uh, on PlayStation Network. For like a week, we had to make ourselves invisible so this dude could not find us. That's uh, that's too too much, man. Yo, two K is real. Two K is too real, too real. Just saying, Rob, get in there. You can be boys with all of us. Yeah. And just let me know. Just walk around and like do different shit. Well, yeah, you also do your career, like you play on your team, your NBA team, your game points, but then like, you know, you do your basketballs. Yeah, your tattoos. Um, your your the the barber shop. Yeah, I collect your checks from your management office. There's a Foot Locker. You go in there buy your shoes. There's a swag shop to buy all your clothes. Eh, it's a busy day. 
It's a busy day in the neighborhood, kid. The giant as a statue of Alan Iverson. Because he was on the first ever 2K. 99. Remember, he, he got. Was. He was like the first two years, it was him. He really was. Mm -hmm. So his thing has a statue, so like, in honor of the inaugural one. And it's just a big ass statue of AI. Mm -hmm. And in the storyline this year, the character's name is AI. Every year, it's like they, they give you a different name. Like, two years ago, it was Frequency. They just called him the Freak. You know, it was Frequency, yeah, a.k.a. the Freak. He used to have a, a – Michael B. Jordan was his teammate. Oh, no. And they would be called Orange Juice, and it was the most stupid thing I've ever seen in my life. Every time you would hit the Orange Juice button, which is like when you both turboed up, they would go, fresh, squeezed. And it made me want to shoot myself in the face. Yeah. Hey, baby. And – Last year, I forget. What's his name? is DJ. Because he used to be a DJ. Now he's a basketball player. Oh, really, really yeah. not. It's, his main guy was ATM because he's about to steal shit off you. That was his thing. <laughs> he was black. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Don't worry. Two years ago, or two yeah, two years ago, when the, they made the storyline extra sad, mm -hmm. like your your best bud gets killed or some shit. First of all, we're trying to play basketball. I don't know why we're getting serious. And they didn't... They don't adjust... The parent color to the player. So my my Caucasian ass had two very black parents <laughs> and a black twin sister. It was just things were so confusing in that one. I was I, I could understand why Freak was you know very sad with his emotions because right. he he knew he was adopted. They keep saying twin, but bro, I'm white. You guys are not. So please tell me what the difference between us is. But it was weird. But this year is kind of a quick one. You start in China and then you play in the G League. Then you make it to the NBA. Quick and simple. You need to play the prelude one time. That's all. You play the play the prelude. You'll know if you like it. And then you're good from there. Then you'll know if you want to spend your life in the neighborhood. It's called the hood. Much. Well, they don't want to do that yet. Okay, yeah, that's, that's next year. They're trying, <laughs> they're trying to keep going to the neighborhood, okay? Yeah. Yeah. They don't want to be like, yo, make sure you come to the hood later. You might get a visit from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't like the suburbs. Oh, that might be the next one. Oh, that's when they start separating us. <laughs> Rich people here, poor people here. But yeah, man, get on your 2K game, guys. And if you um, if you're looking for that sauce, if you're looking for that uh, that flame, um, I'll put I'm gonna put my gamer tag on the on the Instagram. And if you're trying to get crossed up by us by a six foot guard. Because, yeah. because yeah. look, last year, I, last year I made myself 5'8", and that's the smallest I can go. There's so many block shots because, guess what? Everybody lied about their height. I've never seen so many seven-footers in my life, okay? There's no way there's that many seven-footers playing NBA 2K. No, it's because every one of you is going to be a seven-foot idiot. And I was true to myself, and I had a midget. And everybody laughs at you when you're in a pro-am. It's like real life. They're like, look at this little bitch. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so... Yeah, man, if you want to get bullied a little bit, go play some NBA 2K. Um, so after you get, like, a 2K move in, you know, and you've kind of spent most of your last few weeks inside and, like, buried beyond, you know, you haven't seen the sun, mm -hmm. you haven't enjoyed any activities, you kind of need a break. And I came across an article that was bananas. Like, absolutely bananas. Mm -hmm. That this is a real thing. Please do. It is the uh, Sex Resort Cruise. Yeah, I said it. Um, they promote unlimited, unlimited sex and drugs. So a cruise ship run by Charlie Sheen is my assumption. But they... That's Tiger Blood, right? So I was reading up on that shit, and literally, they say like every day... They give you 16 women what? That's a, that's a very... for 30 minutes. By the way, guys, did the math. About a minute and a half per woman in 30 minutes. That's... And that's, first off, look, okay, I ain't going to gloat. I don't know how 30 minutes is going to act. I don't know how I'm going to act for 30 minutes, okay? That's a lot of pressure you put me under. There's 16 of them. What am I supposed to do in that? 16? Like, there's no four players, there's no nothing. We got to get the action. There's 16 of you. So you only got to, each one of you get a minute and a half, and now I got to go. Yeah. It's a marathon, and I don't know if I finish that marathon. Yeah, Just I, give me three. You got to be a king running. Right. Shit. Three, three seems like I'll have an issue. I'm like, ah, 
But why 16? I guess it's like... NCAA tournament? Like, he's the, the sweet 16? Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess like, that's what it is. I don't understand. Each one, of them, each one of them, like, do a bump first, so everybody just feels like we're going super fast or some shit? Like, yeah. So, imagine a cruise where literally they promote sex and drugs. And, like, it's a guarantee you'll get laid all weekend. Right. Like, so this whole three, four-day cruise, you'll be cruising around, and your balls are just going to be drained. I hope they provide Gatorade and or Pedialyte yeah. for cramping. Oh. Like, but it's it's a big thing. Like, apparently it's starting to really get around. I think right now it's in, the, like, Russia or some shit, oh, obviously. Right. Jesus Christ. How do you not get AIDS? I mean, it's legal. Is this, like, international waters or something like that? I believe that's what it is. Because no it's way. Like, you it's... probably can't do that on land, but you can right. do it by sea. They just hide the coke until it gets hurt. Right. <laughs> right, we're going to have right now. Once they, like, reach Colombia, where yeah. I think yeah. everything's coke. <laughs> This is problem. Yo, I'm telling you, hey guys, just saying, if this is still my, and I'm still single at 35, I'm getting on the SF Sex Resort and just living there. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be my life. Oh, man. Uh, I wonder how much it costs. I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't go that see, far. That's shady because like, there's no, I didn't see a price either. I'm like, I don't know. I felt like if I went full in on pricing, then my ass would have gone full in on saving. And then, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what are you doing? Saving for a cruise. You said you don't like water. Shut up. <laughs> Seriously, I'm terrified of water. I would never go on a cruise. Really? What do you want to do outside in the middle of the water? There's a full movie made about why you shouldn't do that. Okay? Because you can't see icebergs that are underneath the fucking water. No. No, I don't want to paint anyone as my French girl. I can do that shit on land where it doesn't move. And even if it does, it moves a little bit. It's an earthquake. It's cool. No. I just don't like the thought of being in the middle of the water with nowhere to go. I can't swim. So, I'm not, I'll be the idiot. You'll see me on the cruise, and I'll be walking around with that life raft on the entire goddamn trip. Nope. Not going to get me. So, you'd rather be the air flying. Like, uh -huh. the That's quick. Life. Quick. I know it's going to be done in three hours. I don't care about that. There's no icebergs in the sky. No icebergs in the sky. The, cruise. The, the craziest movie they have about planes crashing is Sully. And that man landed that shit. That bitch did not land the Titanic. That thing just shunk, sunk dead in the ocean. So you wouldn't like, like boat it down a river? I don't like that idea either. Really? No, I don't like any of that. Mm -mm. We, <sighs> like, hey man, you want to go fishing? Still seems a bit tempting. I'll sit on the land and do fishing. You want to go on a boat and do fishing? You wouldn't, you wouldn't boat up on marina? Like, what? You know what I'll do? Go to Acme. Collect my salmon there. I love the dog thing. Oh, no. No, thanks. I would boat the hell out of that. Hell yeah, I'd boat. No. I can't swim either, but I'm boating. Wait, why wouldn't they call that th that, that resort boats and hoes? Mm. Mm. Is that strong playing, like, the whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the everything I used to say. It's waked up, you're like, mm. the the Peter. <laughs> oh, yes. Hmm. But, yeah, man, I, I'm terrified of boats. Terrified of water. Can't, like, pools? <laughs> I'm borderline on pools. I'm not really a big pool person either, though, but like, I'd go on a boat. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. But the, the most I do is when, if we take the, uh, the ferry. The ferry. Really? And, and that, that's that, pretty cool. I'm doing a mini prayer. There's a mini prayer, like, in the yeah, middle. Like, because like, 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 I, I can see the land and the other land. Like, we're not terrifyingly far away. If someone's like, man, something's wrong with the fuck ferry, it's only going to take someone, like, five minutes to get there. Where if something's wrong in the middle of the goddamn Bermuda Triangle, which, P.S., that's sketchy in itself. Why are you going into the Bermuda Triangle? Don't they say shit disappears there? Right. So why the fuck are you going to take my ship there? That's how Pirates of the Caribbean happen. Are you in a jet ski? Oh, no. That's, just, that's fasting in the water. Oh, no. man. No. Oh, yeah. You might scare ass out the water. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> you're going to get me to die. <laughs> See, I'm that guy who's like, they when people jinx you, they're like, dude, when was the last time you seen a boat sink? And then the next day on the news, right before I, after I book, it's like, it's like, this carnival cruise has killed seven people due to AIDS outbreaks. Oh, and by the way, it's sinking. And you're like, <laughs> when, is, when have you heard that before? Not here. Nope. And then usually as soon as someone brings up a cruise, Celine Dion will come on, reminding me that someone's heart will go on, but that's because of the goddamn Titanic thing. So not even the Spirit of Philadelphia. I did the Spirit of Philadelphia. What the hell? Not, again, again, not, not pumped about it. It was a work trip. It was, a, it was a work. It's our it's our dinner for Christmas for the holidays. Is our holiday party is always on the Spirit of Philadelphia. Then they just go around the river. Same thing though. Like that. There's land. It moves real slow. Gotcha. Land. Middle of the day. I feel like there's not a lot of traffic, and that's bigger than most of those little jet skis. There's a little right. asshole just gonna run into it. 
But no, for the most part, please, please keep me away from the water. <laughs> what about tubing down in Delaware? Doing anything in Delaware sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point there. Okay. But no, mm -mm. no, some, that's why my summer's beach, no ocean. I only get to wear like I need to. My my feet need to still be firmly planted True. in the sand in the water. Yeah. Like I go out to the bank, so they have the bank. So that's like a kiddie pool walking up to the bank. Then we go outside the bank. You're still good for a little bit, but once I get to like titty high, that's it. Titty high is my limit. Gotcha. Anybody wants me to go any further than titty high? Nope. Sorry, I'll be I'll be on the beach. Well, Why don't I? Jeff, I'm only done that this year, and I said, "Well, what are you gonna do?" <laughs> this means we're not meant to be. <laughs> wow. Okay. Look, ladies, if you're gonna be with me, don't get in the water and think I'm gonna save you. I'll call someone else. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man. Um, I feel like that's yeah. well, that's enough uh, enough for today, as they say. Enough for today. It's a good one. So thirty three. Mm. Thirty three. Bye bye. I learned so much tonight. Yeah, man. Not a water guy. Not a water guy. Well, yeah. I will run the neighborhood. Oh, I will run the neighborhood. So what if there's a water in the neighborhood? Are you not gonna get near it? I don't know. I, like a boat. I ain't doing that water supply. No. Okay. okay. Grand Theft Auto. Don't go nowhere near the water. Ah. Mm -hmm. They got me drowned virtually. Ooh. Okay. So, fuck water. Sometimes I don't even take a bath because I'm afraid of drowning. No, I'm just kidding. That I do. I do shower. Pretty regularly. Yeah, you should watch the movie Open Water when they're just stuck in the ocean for like hours. See, that's that's my fear. <laughs> that's my nightmare. <laughs> they're just like chilling in the ocean. Mm. And it gets dark out. And it's like mm. Mm. <laughs> that and the movie 2012. Oh, yeah. Because... Everything happens where water just comes flowing in. I'm like, oh, I'm dead right away. Because what am I going to do with water? Not a chance. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll leave it there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anybody out there who's not a bit of water, uh, you can invite Jeffrey out. And, uh, get the pebble uh, on the wall. <laughs> pepper doesn't do well with water. Pepper don't do, okay. pepper don't do well with water. Jeez. Uh, man. Yeah, man. So next time, uh, next week, sometime. Mm -hmm. It's football season, like I said, we'll probably be switching days. It might be days. more Mondays and, and yeah, like again, it, it depending could be, on. Yeah, keep you guys Saturday here, Monday there. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, next week at some point. Yeah. Uh, I am Big Ron alongside my co host. Not wet pepper. Not wet pepper, my ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you next week. All right, talk to you. I'm going to turn this off then.